Hello and what is up guys? My name is Yegram from Screencasters and I'm coming at you now on Galactic God's channel with another guest upload. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. First and foremost, before I get anything started, I would like to thank the mighty sage himself, Galactic God, for letting me guest upload. Um, it really is, speaks a lot of his character. He's a really cool dude. He's always helping out the community. A uh, big shout out to Galactic God on his own channel. Um, you know, but if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Yegram. I do a lot of deck profiles, discussions, duels, all those other good things that every other YouTuber does, but slightly better or slightly worse, depending on what side of the fence you are standing on. So I'm coming to you guys with a deck profile of one of my favorite decks to play. Um, it's Galaxies, and a lot of people usually message me and say, you know, I love this deck, but I just can't get it to work. There's potential in this deck, but we can't really put the pieces together. So I'm here to help you guys. So uh, yeah. So, you run three Galaxies, Photon Dragon. He's your main card of the deck. You want to open with him. He's a trade-in target. Um, you want to open up with him and your best discard card, which is the three Galaxy Soldier. If you play Cyber Dragons, you know how powerful this card is. But you can see how even more powerful this card is in his own deck, basically. You discard a light, special summon him, and then you get search for any Galaxy Eyes monster, including himself, which is really good. Uh, opening up with a Soldier and a uh, Photon Dragon is just really good. It's one of the more ideal opening hands. If you guys want to see some combos with this deck... Or even some duels so you can see them in real time. I do have some of my channels, so if you guys want to see them, feel free to mosey on over over there. Uh, three Galaxy Wizard, he's basically the Stratos of the deck. Um, you can tribute himself off, and you can add any Galaxy card. So that means any, any of your incredibly powerful spells like Expedition, your monsters like Soldier, Prime Photon Dragon, even your um, other spells like uh, Galaxy Zero. I mean, he's really good. In fact, he can make himself level 8 really helps when you have, like, a bricky hand. Because if you have a level 5 or higher um, Galaxy Monster, you can special summon one from your deck, which is really good. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, he's really good mandatory at 3. So, um, yeah. Uh, last of Galaxy Monsters, 3 Galaxy Knight. Um, the problem with Galaxies is you have a lot of potential, but you don't have too many really good cards within the archetype to let it do what it's supposed to do. Um, out of all the Galaxy cards I am not currently playing, I'd rather play 3 Galaxy Knight than any of those because he's just overall better like than the ones I'm not playing. I mean, he's level 8, he's a trade-in target. Uh, if you normal summon out tributing, if you have a level 5 or higher Galaxy Monster, uh, you can bring back your galaxy size Photon from Graveyard, which is really good. And he's not once per turn, so if you get your double normal summons, hint, hint, at the rest of the deck, um, you can just keep reusing him, abusing him, as long as you have so many... Um, Galaxy has photons in your graveyard. So uh, that's it for the uh, Galaxy lineup. Pretty good, pretty good. We're doing a uh, two Gem Knight Tourmaline, one uh, Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon, and one Rainbow Karibo. I am running the Brilliant Fusion Engine. Um, the double normal summons really, really help this deck out. You have so many valuable normal summons, like your Galaxy Knight, uh, like your Wizard if you have like a lopsided hand. Um, there's so many normal summons you really need to get a hold of, and honestly, one just isn't good enough. Um, so yeah, getting double normal sums is really good as we run the Seraphonite. Now the reason I run two is for a kind of a personal reason. You can definitely cut one of these if you feel the need for it. But for me and my bad shuffling and my bad uh, luck, I'd rather take the risk of drawing two of these than drawing one of these and just having my whole engine dead. There's been so many times where I only ran one and I drew op I opened with one of them and a Brilliant Fusion. That really sucks because that means three cards in your deck is basically a mutant void because there's no real way to put this guy back into your deck with this... Uh, you know, the way the deck is built. So, I'd rather take the risk of, oh, I open up with one in Brilliant Fusion. Uh, that means I can still resolve it, and three cards in my deck aren't dead. I can still play them, and worst case scenario, he's a discard target. Um, and a target for Norden. Cloud Dragon is the last Galaxy Monster run. Uh, it's a light, so it's easy to discard. Um, it has a graveyard effect, which is pretty useful. Um, just equip them to a Galaxy's Monster. So yeah, that's always way there for an extra uh, discard target. Um, if you have to, be searchable with Wizard. Rainbow Karibo is basically a tech for me. It's awesome. Um, it gives you something to draw into with your Max C, so they do take the Max C challenge. You're not dead in the water. You're not hoping they stop, you know. You actually got something to stop them with. Uh, one of these is pretty good. Um, he's a light, so you can discard him with Soldier. Um, and he works in Grave and in Hand, so you can even mill him with your Brilliant Fusion from deck, uh, just in case. So he's really good, stops an attack, um, he does target, which is unfortunate, uh, but he's just in general a very good card and very nifty in this deck.
Last of Monsters, Standard 2 Max C. It is the best card of this format. I love it. Um, the best part about Galaxies is it doesn't really matter if you're going first or second. Basically, what this deck is meant to do is have two level 5s and two level 8s on field, and then make Felgrand or uh, number 38, and with a Durandal, some kind of protection, so just negate everything your opponent does. So, yeah, it's just really great drawing into him when you need it. So, this is basically if you're going second. Um, it really doesn't matter in this deck what... um whether you go first or second, but ideally, you kind of want to go second in a way, so you get more pieces that you don't break as often, but going first is no problem, so this is basically just a really good consistency card. So that's it for the monsters, up for the spells. Uh, three Galaxy Expedition, the best spell in the deck. Um, arguably, you can say the Brilliant Fusion is better, but honestly, it's kind of a throw up between the two. I mean, if you control level 5 or higher Galaxy Monster, you can special summon one from deck, which is very powerful. It's basically there um, for rank 5 plays. If you have Soldier or if you have a bad hand, you could normal summon your Galaxy Wizard, make him level 8 with his effect, and then uh, special summon a Photon from deck um, with the Expedition. So yeah, that's kind of how the deck ties together. And Brilliant Fusion, you run through because you want to see it. It's an amazing card. Ditching from deck is always going to be powerful. And the fact that you get two normal summons and fill up your graveyard is very powerful. So that's why you run out of three. Because you always want to see it. Opening up with this and like a Galaxy Wizards like game. Just so good. Set you up for so much advantage. Three Instant Fusion. Three trade in for last of the three ofs. Um, you run a lot of level 8s, uh, trading's always going to be live. There are times where it isn't as live, though, honestly. Uh, so you can try cutting them if you have to run them for space. But uh, 3 is just perfect because I always want to see it. Because um, you can search them all, uh, the level 8s. Instant Fusion is just so good. I know running 3 is kind of cloggy, kind of bad in a way. But the, the fact of the matter is that you always want to see this card. This card basically unbricks your hands. It helps you get into that last level 5 with Panzer Dragon with Soldier. It helps you get into that extra rank 4 with Norden. It's just very good and almost always live. So It has multiple uses, so that's pretty good. Uh, 2 Galaxy Zero, 2 Twin Twister. Um, just super awesome cards. If you notice, I'm not running the Cell Light. I feel like it totally goes against what this um, build of the deck is supposed to do. Uh, taking away your normal summon is just crippling to this deck. So I just thought, you know what, I don't need my wizard that much. I have many other ways to search them. It's just not good enough to run, you know? Galaxy Zero is really great. You can mill your uh, Galaxy Size Photon with Brilliant Fusion, then bring it back with this and then activate Expedition, and you still got two normal summons. It's a very crazy card. Some people think it's dead, but honestly, try it out for yourself. It's freaking awesome. And Twin Twister, because you run an OTK deck, um, a lot of rogue decks are playing a lot of back row. The Kli Demise deck is actually becoming a thing again, which is pretty scary because all the floodgates they run. So, uh, yeah, snipe them when you can. One Melody of Awakening Dragon. Since Guy Size Photon basically has Blue Eyes White Dragon stats, uh, it's just pretty good. You can discard a card, add two of them, and it helps up you up for uh, your Galaxy Soldier boards. I want Soul Charge because it's stupid in this deck. It's awesome. Just reviving your big dragons and attacking with them. What more can I say? And one Regeki because board wiping is always going to be a good thing. Unless you're against Burning Abyss. Um, so uh, yeah, last of the main deck. Three Counter Traps. Two Scolding and one Warning. Honestly, if you had the money for it, you can cut the Scoldings for Solemn Strikes. I would not hold it against you. Um, but it kind of does the same thing in a way. It negates more stuff. Um, you don't run any back row except for these cards, so, you know, Warning is like the best trap in the game. It stops basically everything, especially some of it's awesome. And, uh, Scolding, like, 3,000 is a lot, and you can't argue that you're paying a lot of life points in this deck, um, with the instant fusions and these cards, but the fact of the matter is you're not going to be resolving all of these in the same duel, right? Realistically speaking, you're going to see one of these in a duel, you're not going to see both. Uh, so statistically speaking, um, they're just really good to run. I run three of them because I want to see them, but if you want to cut them, go for it. You can take them out for like decrees or reckless greed, so it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for the main deck, I'm to the extra deck. One, number 38, the best card of the deck. I love it, its effects are just so good. Sucking up spells is really good, and protects your XYZs, it's just a really good card to have. One Felgrand, basically your Effect Veil. A lot of people think Effect Veil is going to be very good this format. And I kind of agree, but why not have a 2800 one, right? So it's it's really good. Uh, one Prime Photon and one Full Armor. Um, Prime Photon is your win condition. Uh, it's just such a great card. Um, basically, what you typically want to do is summon him and your Volcasaurus, uh, burn your opponent's monster, then slap Gaia Dragon on top. You detach with him, keep the Prime Photon as material, he'll basically gain the um, attack of all the ranks on the field uh, times 200, so that includes himself, so 8 plus 7, that's 15 times 2, he gains 3,000 attack, so that's 7,000 to the face. 
plus the burn damage, plus the attack with piercing from Gaia. This is just a very good combo to pull off, and this deck is basically aimed uh, to do it. So yeah, these are the guys you want to run. Um, they help for your OTK boards. This deck has very um, a lot of versatility. I mean, there's a lot of defensive XYZs. There's a lot of attacking XYZs. It just depends on whether you're going first or second and what you want to do. So you can set this guy on top and just destroy a card, which is really good. Now one Infinity, one Nova, because you run Panzer Dragon. Galaxy Soldier himself is a light machine, so it just makes logical sense to have just an extra negate. Um, it's just a really good card, and uh, yeah, why not run it? Because you can. Uh, for the rank fives, one Durandal, one Volcasaurus, you know, it's a pretty standard. Durandal, if you're going on the defensive, Volcasaurus, if you're going on the attacking, just really good. Um, stop your opponents for Geki and blowing up your Brilliant Fusion with this is just really good. Plus, Shuffling Your Hand has came up a lot. Uh, one guy, a dragon, a slap on top of all these, so it's just really good, really good. Piercing's always going to be nice. For the rank fours, we do one Castell, one Giant Hand, and one Dweller. Honestly, if you can find room and put the uh, Trap Hole cards, you can try Rafflesia. Rafflesia, in my opinion, is a little bit better than Giant Hand, but uh, I don't want to like advocate uh, main deck spots for an extra deck card. So Giant Hand does what he needs to. Uh, these guys are basically possible with your Norden, so yeah, that's pretty good. For the Fusions, we just do three. Uh, one Seraphonite. One Norden, and one Panzer Dragon. Draft Knights for your Brilliant Fusion. You can do a lot of cool things with it. Uh, the Double Normal Summons is just absolutely broken in this deck. It's so awesome. It basically gets your play started. And it's a level 5, so you can overlay it with Galaxy Soldier and make Durandal. Just really nice. Uh, one Norden, because you can bring back your uh, stuff you milled with Brilliant Fusion and make a rank 4. Um, plus a beefy dweller is always nice. And Panzer Dragon, because if you put this out with your Galaxy Soldier, you can make Infinity, which is really nice. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the Galaxy Eyes deck profile with the Brilliant Fusion splashed in. It's a really fun deck. If you guys have not tried this deck out, I highly recommend it because it's so fun to play. It's so explosive. It works whether you're going first or second. You've got two level 5s. Two level H, you make those uh, XYZs, and you go for game, or you stop your opponent from trying to get any plays started. It's just a really fun deck. So yeah, once again, I would like to thank Glad God for this amazing opportunity to provide quality content to his uh, loyal subscribers. If you guys like this video, please drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. So yeah, I hope you guys like the video. If you like it so much, uh, feel free to move on to my channel. I have some combos for this deck. I have some duels with this deck, and a bunch of other decks. And just a really, you know decent Yugi tuber you know. Don't forget to like the video, comment the video, and subscribe to my channel, which is Screencasters, for more epic and amazing videos similar to this one. Once again, my name is Yeager, and from Screencasters, I'm signing out. See you guys, and have a nice day.